This is the lower J head section with the upper head removed, plus with the spindle, which is a cartridge, is removed out of it for the down feed. Put the quill all the way up, the handle will not engage. Quill handle has to be down and it will engage. If the adjustment is off on this unit here and you can't get the handle in, you'd have to push up. There is a pin that pushes up, this holds it into place. Your adjustment is over here. You adjust accordingly to where this arm is for that pin to lock in like that. Now, the amount of pressure on that clutch, it's a slip clutch. Should be about right there. If you don't have that pressure there, you can remove this cap, these two socket heads, and this unit is right here, will come right out. There is a set screw here that you loosen, and that will give you the amount of pressure you need on that slip clutch. Okay? Now, when the machine was fully engaged, it will hit against the spline hub up on top. This is engaged here, and the brass gear will ride against the spline hub inside the upper section with it in gear, either high or low. All right? So if this pin, which is supposed to go around like this, if this pin is loose or it's not into place properly, this will not engage. All right? So that what you have now is your feed mechanism here, forward and reverse. I'm using the handle here, and this is how it turns. This will turn the mechanism up here. This will come in like that. So with this handle here and engage, it will feed down and then click off, a clean click. All your adjustments, all that has to be loose. As you see this, as I engage that, that will move up. Either way. Again, with the quill all the way up, you cannot engage. Quill has to be down. Engagement is nice, clean, and crisp. It's all mechanical. As I, as I, as this goes in here, there is a pin here, pushes on this pin down here, rides down, and there's a lever here, which pushes this up. The same thing for going up. There is another pin in here. That's all the way up. That's all the way down. 